Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Band of Any Reactions and my internet's back! I'm recording this on Thursday morning. We did not get the router. It just randomly started working. And our phone line is still not working. And our phone line essentially is connected to our internet router. So if the router stops working, the, it, the phone line stops working as well. So I don't know what's going on with that. So we'll have to, and as for why I'm not wearing my ring, it's because I, did, I took it off before I went to work yesterday because there have been times where I've bumped the, I've knocked the ring against something hard and I'm, you know, I don't want to damage it. So I took it off so that way I wouldn't get it broken because I don't have insurance to fix it. Which reminds me, I do need to get insurance for it, but whatever. Anyway, um, this is going to be my review for Akatsuki no Yona episode 2. Because I've already got episodes 1 through 4 done, recording wise. And I just downloaded episodes 5 through 13. So I wouldn't have to, you know, hopefully download more anytime soon just in case. Anyway, um, yeah, this episode. I felt so bad for the servant who helped uh, Hawk and Yona escape. I know that if he hadn't done it, they might not have been able to escape, at least as early as they did, but yeah, I still felt bad that he had to die. Why did he have to die? He, why couldn't he have gone with them? He would have been a great, he would have been a great ally because he would have known them from the start because all the other allies that they gather, as far as I know, uh, don't know her. So they have to get to know her, you know? Anyway, uh, from what Suwan said, apparently his uncle, her father, killed his father at some point after his father became king of the other kingdom. Where he heard that from, I do not know. I do not know if it's true, but he apparently believes it. Whether he's just saying that as a reason as to why he's doing this, it remains to be seen. Because, yeah, we don't know what's true anymore, what's not, because we can't basically can't question her father at this point because he killed him. <coughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, this is going to be definitely something new for Yona because she's never been outside the palace, never been having to rough it and survive, you know, out in the wilderness. So this is going to be new for her and hopefully she will make it through this until she can, you know, learn to do it and get used to being outdoors like that. Anyway, oh my god. Poor girl never knew what was going to happen. And then again, neither did I. I didn't know either, yet I had a, my suspicions about Suwon. Considering they said that, like I said it before in the last episode, there was no male heir to her kingdom. And he was the closest thing to near to the throne. Especially if he would have married Yona. He would have been, you know, he would have eventually been king anyway. So why didn't he just take that path? If he was wanting to be king so badly. Then again, I think it was part... I think uh, being king was just icing on the cake in this situation. And his real reason for doing all this was to get revenge for his father. If that's actually, you know, the case. Because did he witness it? Did someone tell him? Did, if somebody told him, they could be lying. If he witnessed it... What was his father, her father's motivation for all this? Because there was apparently none from what I could tell. Anyway, uh, hopefully those questions will be answered at some point in the show. Because if not, then what the hell? Because leaving those plot points open is not a smart idea. Especially if you're not going to continue the show. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. And I will see you all next time.